Hey guys, Clevel here, and I'm back today in the newest snapshot. This is snapshot 17w17a, and we're going to be going over the at s selector. Um, it's pretty simple to go over. I also found kind of a secret, maybe intentional, maybe unintentional update that is has to do with commands, and I will show you it on Friday. So look forward to that. It's pretty cool. I don't. I'm pretty sure it's secret because either it's a secret or it was there and I never knew about it. Um, but it is definitely really interesting. I'm pretty sure that it, it's a new secret update anyway. Uh, I found it when I was using this uh, this at s selector and just trying to make a, like come up with what to say in the video and uh, how to actually show you how to use the selector. Um, but anyways, back onto the actual video. So the at s selector is a new thing. It's slash, let's give you an example, slash say at s high. So it'll say Cloud Wolf looks normal, just like if I did at a or at p. Um, but what is not normal is if I put it into a command block, and you might see where we're going with this, it doesn't do anything. It says found nothing. So I'd say the best comparison for what at s is, at s is basically at p radius equals zero, but for everything. So at p radius of zero will pick the nearest player in a radius of zero. So basically exactly who the command is executing at. So if I do execute at a, and I do slash say hi, uh, say at p radius equals zero, Hi, it'll pick just me. It won't pick anybody near me. Um, even if a player is in my radius of zero, it will probably just pick me because I am the nearest player to the command happening. Problem with this is it doesn't work for entities. So if I do at s radius equals zero, it'll work for all entities. So if I do execute at e, it will do a separate say hi command for all the entities in my world, which is quite a bit. Um, and it's just, and if you notice, it's just picking the, um, the, entity like one entity at a time as opposed to if I just did at e I don't even have to do radius of zero there but if I do at e it'll say a big long thing and if I do at s it will just say a separate one for each of them because it's basically picking the nearest entity in a radius of zero it's picking exactly what it is that the command was executed at so you can't really use at s just like this you have to have something before it like some kind of execute command um, to make it work because it has to move where the command is happening to something else, to some entity. So it's pretty simple how it works. Uh, I hope you could understand that. Um, it's basically just going to pick one entity that is at where the command is being played. So it's really useful for if you have like multiple executes in the same thing. So if you're like execute at A, and then you can start doing execute, execute at S radius, uh, and then you can do like score underscore one underscore min equals one and then you can be like oh so now i want to check for something else execute at s um name equals high uh execute at s name equals not hello or something like that so you can just keep doing the at s and you won't have a problem uh with uh any problem with it picking moving the execute command to a different entity it's only going to keep the command at that entity so that's pretty useful um, in addition, if you want some little uh, information about this, so the what normally happens when I do an execute command, or according to Slice Lime and his explanation, what normally happens if I do slash say hi at a radius equals zero or something like that, it's going to check, see how it checks all the entities, and then it checks if, if it's valid. So it's going to all the entities, including myself, and checking if there is anyone in a radius of zero. Um, or if I do, the point is, it's basically checking to make sure that all the entities that are in the world match the criteria that I have. So it's a lot of commands going off, essentially, a lot of checking that the game is doing when you have that. But if I just do an, an at s, it will only, it won't do as much checking. It'll only check for that one entity. So if I have execute at e, and then I do execute at e radius equals zero, tag equals high, um, inside that command, it will only pick the entity that has, if the entity has a tag of high and it's at that entity, it'll only pick that one, but it'll also check and find all the entities that have the tag and check if they're in a radius of zero of where that command's being executed. So it's a lot less work that the game has to do. It only has to check one entity. Um, if that was a little confusing, it's not that big a deal. All you have to know is how it works. Um, but that's pretty much all there is, guys. That was pretty simple. The next thing that I'm going to show you on Friday is pretty sick. Uh, it'll make a lot of things simpler for you if you do complex command blocks. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.